Today is December 4th, 2017, and this is an updated video about doing uh, market comparisons using Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Uh, since the last video I filmed, which was in September, um, we've made a couple of advancements, and Chelsea and I went had a chance to go to China and meet with suppliers and do quite a lot of product comparison and sourcing. We would go to the uh, Canton World Market um, in the day and we would look at products we'd come back to our hotel and use Jungle Scout and we kind of developed a good little system and uh, I also upgraded to Jungle Scout Pro and there's a couple of new things I want to go over so if you haven't watched the previous video on doing the opportunity search watch that one first because it covers the whole process but this is specifically on using Jungle Scout Pro extension and comparing um, the market so we're just going to go with the same example we used in the last video, which I believe was camping cookware set or cooking set. We'll just go with uh, camping cookware here because that looks like Amazon's telling us that's a pretty high volume search term. So obviously, just kind of repeating what I said in the last video, make sure this is set on all departments. Type in your high volume search term that does definitely pertain to your product. You don't want it too niched down. I've been correcting a couple students on this recently where they have very, very niched search terms. And uh, I just want to make a plug here that if you always want to look at the different variations of different search terms of the highest sellers to kind of get what are the, the highest volume search terms. So in this case, camping cookware looks like it's probably the, the this is not appropriate, but Camping Cookware looks like it's the highest volume search term. You, you, of course, can verify that using merchant words if you want to or some other service. Okay, let's talk about Jungle Scout. So we're going to run Jungle Scout, and I'm going to make this video relatively short because I've explained quite a lot in the last video. Again, if you haven't seen the last video, it's product opportunity. Search. Now, here's the Jungle Scout Pro extension. And I want to bring up a couple of different points. Um, the Pro extension has, <clears throat> excuse me, the Pro extension has this little guy over here that says Opportunity Score. Um, this is a neat little hack. I don't. I recommend that you don't rely on this too heavily. Um, but it is. I'm going to explain what it is and how it works and the pros and cons of using it. But uh, basically, in summary, what it does is it analyzes all the information here and it sort of distills that into one kind of score. And then it gives you a breakdown of why. So this particular product, uh, they're saying it's a high demand with high competition. So just based on that, I wouldn't even look at this product, except for you want to actually make sure that the search terms, sorry, the search results that you're getting are 100% applicable to the search term. So for example, this LED camping light that has nothing to do with cooking, camping cooking set. So we would just eliminate that. So over here on the side, the first thing I want to do is go through every one of these and remove, using that little X, remove anything that is not applicable to what I'm actually comparing. Make sure that these search term results, these product listings, do in fact match what I am considering selling on Amazon doesn't take very long. All you got to do is hover over these. Like this here, this is not really a comparable apples to apples comparison. This is like a barbecue cooking set. It doesn't have the pots and pans, so I'm going to delete that. Another reason why we're deleting these is it will affect all of these average numbers up here. Average price, average reviews, average sales ranking, all these averages as well as the opportunity score are all factored in. This has nothing to do, this is a totally different product, so we're going to remove it. All these other ones look like they're pretty legitimate. This one is not. That one is pretty legitimate. Apples to apples. This one is not. And that's it. Cooler. Okay, we want to remove the cooler. That's a $55 product. That's going to skew our average price, isn't it? The next thing I want to do, just going uh, from left to right, is we're going to look at the product listing and we're going to remove any duplicate listings. So this one here is an ad. It says SP, that's short for sponsored product. If this shows up somewhere else down here, we can just look for Malomi, 
and see if it shows up. It does not, so it's okay. But a lot of times you'll see SP, blah, 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 and the very next one or somewhere down here will be a duplicate product. So we'd wanna remove that from the list as well. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rank this um, by sales volume and you click it twice. You can also do by revenue. Recently, I've been enjoying doing it by sales volume because that's actually the number of units sold per month versus volume or revenue, which is how much money is being sold. And a reason I find that to be important is because if you rank it by sales volume, generally these are the, uh, the top ranking within that search term uh, because Amazon really, really rewards number of units sold more than number of dollars sold. But as you notice, this is not completely in descending order. This guy here is actually selling more dollars than this guy here, but he's selling yet less units because of course he's selling it for, you know, $9 more. All right, so now we're just gonna go through one more time, make sure that there's no sponsored products or anything weird. Okay, it looks pretty legit. So the next thing I wanna do is to see if this, um, Oh, I don't want to get too much into that because I covered that in the last video. Just going to quickly make sure that this is not a brand-driven product, meaning there's not one or two sellers uh, who's dominating. And you can just kind of scan through this and see. You can also sort by brand by just clicking like this. You, it'll rank it either descending or ascending, just like a Excel spreadsheet. But I usually like to keep it ranked by volume of sales then we would just look at the rest of our criteria. So really the only difference in this video is that we're talking about the opportunity score. Um, I've also didn't mention in the previous video that you can remove listings that don't really um, match your search term. And now we have a true fair comparison. Uh, of course, we're gonna look here for reviews and we see that there's one listing here. He's not even the top selling listing in terms of units, but he is, or um, uh, revenue but he is the, one of the top selling ones and he's got 2,900 reviews. So it'd be pretty tough to, com to compete with this guy, wouldn't it? But uh, anyway, that's kind of how that works. If you find an opportunity score that is higher, usually like six, seven, or eight, um, those say medium demand or some, it's maybe I think around six or seven, it gets into lower demand. And once you get to like eight or nine, it says low demand, low competition, and those will have a higher opportunity score, which means it's a better opportunity for you. Okay, let's see if I'm forgetting anything. So we already know how to analyze the data. Um, there's a couple other things. You can sort any one of these columns by clicking um, up here. You can sort it ascending or descending. Um, I believe you can also just click the arrow. It's pretty much the same difference, right? And that way you can see who has the most reviews. You can see which one's making the most money who's got the, the highest rank, all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, yes, there's one other thing. I think this is only available on the, um, the Pro Edition, or I just didn't know about it when I filmed the last video. You notice that some of these price, rank, and sales, if you hover over that, you can actually look at the history. So this is really interesting, and this is important. If you click on it, it will show you the price history, as far as I know, um, from whenever they started selling this listing. So it'll pretty much tell you when they started selling the listing, July 28th. Um, uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but I'm assuming it's relatively accurate. So this guy's been maintaining $24 um, pretty much the entire time. I don't know, for some reason in September they dropped it down to 14. They probably ran some kind of promotion and looks like they just raised their price as of December, no, in October to $24.99 from whatever it was, $23.99 or $24. Okay, good. So that's kind of a neat thing. You can see the price history. I also like to look at the BSR history. I don't put too much... Um, too much emphasis on BSR, but it's just good to know, like when you see big spikes like this, of course that means they ran a giant promotion or a lightning deal or a giveaway, and their BSR shot up really, really high. And, um, or opposite, I guess low BSR is down here. So I don't know why it dropped. 
but that's just an interesting thing to look at. I do like to look at the sales history. I don't know why this listing is being funny. Let's stick with this one down here. I do, I do like to look at the sales history. This is the number of units sold per month. Um, and I, again, I don't know, I can't promise how accurate this is, but Jungle Scout is, from what I know, it's pretty accurate. Now this is important because let's say, I don't have a good example here, but uh, let's say that actually I, yeah, I don't have a good example, but let's say there was one month where the number of units just jumped way, way, way up high. And here, that could that could actually skew the number of units per month. So let's say in November, today's December 4th, let's say in November, this, this is showing as, you know, 2,300 units for the month. And that's, you know, twice what the next guy's doing, something like that. I would want to look at the history and hover over that. I can't click on this one, but... I would want to see if there's a giant spike. A giant spike means they did a lightning deal or a giveaway or some kind of huge promotion discount type thing where they moved a lot of inventory in a short amount of time and that will skew the averages here. So all of those things are important to look at. Um, revenue is not clickable so you can't see a history on that but it's sales, rank, and price are clickable where you can see those histories. So that's kind of an update, updated video on on Jungle Scout Pro. I hope you found this helpful. Don't rely on the opportunity score too much. Remove the competi remove the, uh, the listings that are not relevant. Definitely remove any duplicate sponsored ads. Make sure that these averages up here truly reflect the type of product, the same size, um, you know, similar size, volume, all that kind of stuff that you're considering selling. Check for the competitors. Look at the history. Make sure that this is not just a, a product that has just launched with low reviews and they're getting huge sales because that could also affect your decision in terms of how much opportunity is there monetary wise okay thanks for watching